All right, guys, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G here with Power and Acceleration Test and Guide today. We're going to be testing light, medium, and heavy cabs with a multitude of different parts on them to see how adding more wheels and more hovers and more legs affects acceleration. So if you didn't know, every cab has a base power stat. And every movement part you add takes away from that power stat. And we're going to cover all of those one by one, starting with light cab, using the Tusk medium wheels, which remove about 15% power. So we've got four on the left, eight on the right. You're going to notice a little bit of difference with this one, but the Tusk is pretty fast. I would encourage you to look at the garage uh, in these videos. Look when each vehicle hits the edge of the garage, because acceleration... You're going to see that more right off the bat than you are uh, when this thing hits the shrub. So you can see right here, these guys are moving pretty fast with the Tusk and the Cheetah on here. But you are going to notice that the uh, vehicles running less wheels are going to be slightly faster. The biggest difference, though, you're going to notice is with Bigfoots. They take away 20% power. So they're bigger power hogs than other movement parts. However, cabs say they take away 25% power. I'm not noticing as big a difference uh, with tracks as we were with Bigfoots. I mean, it was pretty similar watching those two right there. Legs, 20% uh, power reduction per leg. You can see, I mean, they're so slow. They just, that oh God, they're so slow, especially when you're not on a step spider. Um, so you're not gonna see a huge amount of difference because they just, yeah, their acceleration, they don't accelerate super fast uh, to begin with. So, we had about a difference of about a second with medium wheels. Nothing really with hover. Since they changed hover, they really don't take a lot of power away. Buggy wheels, decent amount of difference. Bigfoot's over a second of difference. So, they had the most difference. Uh, medium cab now. We're going to run all the same wheels and movement parts. But this time on a Torero. So, this cab has more, a little more power than the Tusk. Here we go again. Medium wheels. You can see significant difference uh, running medium wheels right there. Wait for it. Hovers. So, hover, you're not going to hardly notice any difference at all with hovers. They're going to be pretty similar. Uh, and then we're going to do buggy wheels. They're pretty fast. You're going to notice slightly faster, slightly better acceleration with four. And once again, Bigfoots uh, are going to show the largest difference. Decent amount of difference in acceleration getting going if you run eight Bigfoots. Tracks, little bit of difference. You can see the one on the right hit the edge of the garage just slightly slower uh, than the one running two on the left. So not a huge difference there. And legs, take a look at when we hit the garage. Slightly faster with four uh, than with eight. But the difference is not as big as, as I thought it would be. Um, you know, I'm always going out of my way to try and you know, limit the number of movement parts I have just to keep speed up if I can. Um, I know it's always good to have extra movement parts, but that's not going to affect you uh, as bad as I thought. So once again, Bigfoot, almost two seconds difference there. About one second for medium wheels and hovers. Tracks and legs, negligible difference. Last up, we're going to test these things with heavy cab here. So, yep, there it is. There it is. This is a heavy cab. Let's bang this out. Same exact movement parts, but this time heavy cab look. It's got maximum power. So we should see probably the least amount of difference here because it's going to take us little less of a percentage off of total cab and power. So once again, medium wheels, digging 15% per wheel. And we're going to notice much of a difference. Take a look. And barely any difference with the heavy cab. So that extra power does make a difference. Hover. Almost no difference at all. We hit the edge of the garage there at the same time. And you can see it's a minus 5%, which is one of the big changes they made to hover. So they don't, you can put tons of hover on something and it makes little to no difference. Buggy wheels only taking away 10%. So we're going to see almost no difference running four versus running eight. What else do we got? Bigfoots. Are we going to notice a difference with the Bigfoots? Yes, you can see hit the garage slightly different times, but not nearly as big a difference when we ran the light cab and the medium cab. That humpback with the extra power definitely makes up for some difference. Tracks, 
once again slight difference in acceleration but negligible not not a ton and we're gonna wrap this up so you get a difference oh under a second and lastly let's take a look at legs here we go slight difference just barely not a whole lot so what have we learned from this we've learned that the more power your cabin has the less it's going to be affected by running more movement parts um, so if you have a lower power cabin or you're not running an engine that minus 20 percent is a much bigger deal so you can see there's very little difference about one second on the big foots barely, barely a second on tracks half a second or less with the legs so not not a huge difference if you found this useful like and subscribe mr g out